Hey there, it is Tara here from Camel Channel. I'm a camel behaviorist, wellness and energy expert, also known as the Spiritual Camelier. And I'm here to share a technique with you today that can help make camel training a whole pile easier. Keep listening and keep watching to find out more. So here's the thing about working with camels. They all have completely different personalities. And the fun thing about that is not all camel training sessions are gonna be the same if you're dealing with multiple camels. It really is a fun time. The thing with camel training is I use the same technique on every camel, but there's one significant difference which I wanna share with you today on how to excel your camel training and to get the best results by using one simple technique. So it doesn't matter what camel I'm dealing with, like I previously said, I use the same te technique for every camel. It's the same foundational training, it's very routine, it's same, same, same. But the very significant difference that I do have with each camel is I consider their personality. Like Jack, Jack here, cruisy camel, but can be a little bit stubborn, can't you Jack? With that stubbornness, I know that in my training not to to, to put maybe a little bit more pressure on him compared to another camel that is highly strung and highly nervous. Like I have a couple of camels behind me, I'd never put that same amount of pressure on them because they would melt down and their training would be pointless. So Coco here, he's a different story. He, he loves doing the work but he really likes his personal space. So he's built a trust with me enough that, you know, I can read his subtle signs if he's going to go and give a nip because that's his signature move. <laughs> so anyone that doesn't know him and just comes in and starts trying to train him or work with him and they're not giving him his personal space, he's gonna really dislike that. And he will display um, display in quotes, aggression. It's not aggression, it's just him saying, I'm a camel that likes space. So when I come to train or handle Coco, it's all about not overdoing the praise. So whilst I'm talking in this video, I'd really like you to consider the camels that you are dealing with, if you're dealing with camels yet, and consider the different personalities that are taking place. Are they cruisy? Are they chill? Do they like a lot of touch and like a lot of affection? I got a camel over here, Queen Sheba. Our doors, like touch, touch, touch. It's all about the touch with her. But Coco, a nice little stroke, good little boy, and that's enough for him. Otherwise, you're just too much in his personal space. So like humans, every camel has a different personality. So you use the same foundational training, but with that difference of working with that camel's personality. So in a training session with Coco, I just give him a bit more space. He does the thing, he sits down like this, he hushes, good boy Coco, a little twiddle there or whatever, and then give him, walk away and give him some space. So Yuga here, another completely different personality. You know, he's a camel that will do the work, do the work, and then he's like, you know what? Don't want to do the work anymore. My day is done. And that could be five minutes into doing the work or handling or training or what have you. So he's another different personality to work with. Again, the foundational handling, the foundational training is the same. It might be a slight different change in the pressure that you're putting on the rope around their neck or the halter or the what your demeanor around that camel, that assertiveness or the lack of assertiveness. Like if you've got a really nervous camel, that is um, quite highly strung, which it's a thing, you don't wanna come in with a whole pile of assertiveness because that's just gonna put the camel on edge a lot, lot more. But with a camel like Yuko here, who's a bit cruisy, 
doesn't want to do the work or does want to do the work sometimes whatever he makes up his own mind you might want to come in with a bit more of, of assertiveness you got to consider the camel's personality in the training and handling they all get handled differently but they all get trained the same way using this technique of dealing with the camel's personality over using the same brunt force or the lack of brunt force training and handling camels will actually set yourself up for a lot of success with camel training and handling whether that be you have a pet camel you work in a commercial operation you're dabbling as a hobby you're looking you're doing it professionally whatever it is consider that camel's personality know your foundational training know how to train a camel of course i teach all that stuff here online and also in person but also know that the biggest skill you can learn is to get to know that camel. If you want to learn how you can get to know camels more, I actually have another video on how you can get to know a camel. So you can have a look at that and um, learn how to get to know a camel. A lot of it's just observation. A lot of it's just hanging around them a little bit and getting an idea of who they are. A lot of it involves just doing the work and being with them and handling them and training them to get an understanding of that camel. So if you'd like to get to know your camel's personality better, there's so many ways you can do this. And a lot of it just involves spending time with your camel, getting to know who they are without food around. A lot of people think that they're building bonds and building trust with camels when there's feed time involved, when there's food and treats. And that's incorrect, it's not true, because all the camel's thinking about is food, because they love food, because they're survival animals. They 100% don't know when the next drought is coming, so they need to make sure they're going to get that food. So the way you can build bonds and trust and connections with your camel is to spend time with them sitting with them, going on little walks and letting them graze as you do that, observing their behavior so that you can get a deep understanding of who that camel is so you can live out your wildest camel dreams and goals with that camel or with all the camels that you want to deal with. Again, my name is Tara, camel behaviors, wellness and energy expert. And if you would like to learn more about camels, I have a free ebook called Introduction to Camels, where I go through a little bit about how their behavior is in a domestic environment, how to care for them in a domestic environment, a whole pile of other things. It's a freebie on my, over at my website, camelchannel.com. You can go grab that now and start learning more about camels because I would absolutely love to teach you more and more about these amazing animals please subscribe wherever you're listening to and i'll catch you on the next one